Hey race fans, thanks for checking out the channel today on Rooster G Racing. Quick little video for you on how you can get the exact photo you want. I'm talking totally custom. It's the shot that you're going to see in a magazine. It's that money shot that you're going to see on your favorite sports channel from your favorite photographer. But actually, in truth, your photographer cannot get this shot. And I'll show you why as we go into it. So if you want to get that total custom shot, you just had a great race. All you have to do is make sure you're still in replay mode. So we'll come over here. I'm using the controller because it's a lot easier than using the steering wheel. We're going to hit replay. Play replay. And you're going to scrub to the part of the race <clears throat> where you know there was some good action. So I'll skip ahead to a bit. I know there's something coming up right here. There's a nice little pass right there. Okay, so what I have to do, I just stop it right there. I go into race photo mode. And you'll see these one, two, three, four in the seat. So if I choose this one, this is the shot I'm going to get. If I choose that one, I'll get that shot from a lot further back. There's that one. There's that one. Not bad, but it doesn't really tell the truth to me. That one from the driver's view, yeah, you can see right over here, the pass. You just passed the car, that's pretty cool. But let's get an even better shot. Now you'll notice there are no cameras over there, right? And that's because I'm hitting this walk mode over here. Now this is the secret sauce right here. Click on this. And this allows you by using my left, I'm using my left controller right now to go back and forth over the car, over the cars. And from here, I can get any shot that I want. Now that to me is a real nice shot, right? You can come over this side and this again, I'm only using the left controller. If I use the right controller up and down, I get the angle that I want and left control all the way back and I'm back here, here, I'm hiding along the fence, left and then I tilt it a bit with the right. Now, look at that shot. That tells you everything. You get a nice shot of your car, boom. Now, if I keep on going with the left and I just Tilt the right a bit. Now I get that shot. Now you saw there was no car in front, right? Okay, so now I'm going to hit the R2 button to go down to the ground. And look at that. Do we see the detail in the road? Sick. Give it up to GT7 for putting great detail in this game. I hit R1. I come up, right? R1 up, R2 down so I can get the shot that I want. This is total customization from true race action. This is the shot that nobody else has. You have just become your favorite photographer. Now right here. And look at that shine on the car. We get everything we want, move it around. Again, I'm just using the left and right controller. Now. Move it down to the ground, pan it up a little bit. Now, is that the shot that I want? Well, guess what? You can take as many shots or as few shots as you want. So I move it back, down, up. Okay, move it up. Let's get that one right there. Okay, so we're ready to shoot. I hit the X button to get us into our camera mode. Now, just a quick... Uh, little take on what what some of these things are i uh, do some photography on the side so i'll show you very quickly so if, see this top one over here that says aperture where it says f16 so if we click that right now it's at f32 and what that means is you're going to get basically everything in good detail that means all those trees all the grass the fence everything is in good detail and we just move that with the um Directional buttons to the left to get 32 and now you'll notice okay when I put it at f14 all the way to the left 
only the stuff that's close is going to be in full focus. You see that? You see the difference in the detail in the back there? Watch it. As I, the trees in the back there are not very focused. Now they are very much in focus. So that's what that is. And it really helps when you're close to the car. So let me just, um, okay. And the next one, uh, exposure correction. This just makes it darker or lighter. So if you're really, really sunny day and you want it to look like that, to take out some of that glare, you just move that over to the left. You move it over to the right. Now that's way too bright for me. So I'm just going to put it back just right there. We'll just get that. Okay. So that's what that is. Your shutter speed. Now, the way it is here. Okay. So this is going to make it look like actual race speed like what you see on tv but if you want to make if you want to freeze everything you put it in this mode right here so that when you shoot it now i'll show you an example uh, let's just go back for a second when i shoot it like this the cars are going to look blurry because it's just like if the, ca the cars just went right by you so shoot it like this and you'll see the cars will be blurry the road not as blurry Right, the car's a little bit blurry, still looks like a great picture. Now, if we want to make that look a little bit better in my mind, we want to freeze these cars, truly freeze them. We just move, we can just again, I just move the shutter speed all the way to the highest amount, which is one eight thousandth. That's a really, really good camera. That would be a very expensive camera if you were to buy this camera. We hit the X button right here on shoot. Now you see that, you see the detail. It looks like the cars are frozen in time. You get all the detail of the car. And that's, that's the difference. That's a great shot. Okay, so uh, I don't want to save that now. Now, let's get out of here for a second. Back to the selection. Okay, I'm gonna hit back. I'm gonna hit exit. And I'm just gonna rewind just a little bit here. We'll just tighten this up just to go through all the motions again so you get a full understanding right there that's the shot we want going to race photos okay you see your options here that's pretty cool that alone will make a great shot but again we use walk mode fully custom go here and spin it around now look how tight that is yes down to the ground, right? Look at that, look at that. That's racing right there. Now that's gonna make a nice shot. Now what photographer can get that? None. Okay, so we want to shoot, so we hit X to prepare the camera. Again, aperture. I want to, oh, sorry, I tilted it a bit. I don't want to do that. Actually, that's not bad. Let's just go with that tilt. Okay, I want to move this all the way to F1.4, so I focus in really on the cars. My exposure, I'm going to leave it as it is. The shutter speed. I want to freeze the cars here. So all the way to 8,000 and all this other stuff, aspect ratio, that's like that. And it depends on where you're putting this. If you're making a poster, if you're putting on Instagram, if you're putting on an Instagram for your phone, just that straight vertical kind of shot mostly, you're going to use that one. Um, put it on widescreen like your TV, you're going to use that one. And all these others, we want the resolution high. We don't want the grid. Right? No, we don't want the grid. Okay, so that's basically all you need. We come over here to shoot, 
and watch. These cars are going to be nice and crisp. Focus is going to be on the cars. Boom. That is a great shot. Where are you going to get that shot in a magazine? It can't happen. We're going to save it. And that's it. Okay, so thanks for checking out this episode of Rooster G Racing. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, let me know in the comments. Have fun racing today. And as always, don't just take my word for it. Check out these little tricks for yourself and see what you come up with. And let me know in the comments. Take care and have a good one.